Okay, how are we doing out there? First things first, my name is Kenneth Burt. My company is Crystal Edge Technology Screens. I always say one of the biggest things you don't want to have to deal with is being in the dark with your projection screen setup. No one wants to sit around black curtains. Uh, you know, you can't let any real window light come in and fear your screen's going to wash out. Um, you have to use overpriced, expensive projectors in order to get a beautiful image. Uh, keep in mind in this demonstration, we're going to be using our, in this screen right here, this is our Ambilight Rejection Gunmetal Nova 17. These screens are actually have the ability to produce amazing white levels, beautiful contrast levels, and outstanding color. Uh, the projector we're going to be using in the demonstration is my SVGA $150 projector. This is an again, SVGA 720p 800 or 600 by 800 res. That's it. That projector cost me around 150 bucks. You can get those projectors brand new on uh, Amazon for around $300, or you can go over and get them on eBay for around $260 and so forth. Now, that's all we have to use. We don't have to have a 4K. We don't have to have a 1080p. And like I said, I have window light coming in here. We have window light coming in here. Plenty of light coming through. And we're going to still be able to have an amazing image without being stuck in the dark. My projector from my screen sits back around 18 feet from the screen. And we're still gonna be able to sit here and watch movies, sports, whatever we want in a fully lit environment without being trapped in the dark. All right, so let's begin. As you can see, we have ambient light coming in, making contact with the screen here and here. Now, the difference between the gunmetal and the Nova Black, uh, Nova Blacks produce heavier contrast levels, white levels are a tad low, nothing's going to disrupt the picture quality. Gunmetals can produce very high white levels, contrast levels are going to be not as high as the uh, Nova 17s, but they are excellent. And again, produces amazing color. So let me come over here. Now my screen here is around 126 inches. Uh, this, is, this actually still is an elite screen uh, coated with our gunmetal uh, ambient light rejection 17 technology. I love this particular demonstration. I need to get that window light in there too. Like I said, this is without the use of an expensive projector. And like I said, my projector sits back at around 18 feet back. My screen's 126 inches. 
And like I said, surrounded in window light. Let's bring it back a little bit here. Bring it back a little bit on the contrast levels. So you can see we can do contrast levels and a well-lit environment. Well, I'll say it's well-lit because we have a lot of ambient light pushing through. And this is from, like I said, 600 by 800 res, 720p SVGA. Lowest you can get on a 720p projector. here okay over here got to change the positions up see I'm reason the blue levels are no tannish around the screen which you don't want
All right, let's go with uh, outer space screen savers. Between these particular demonstrations, because so that contrast is very hard to pull up in a fully lit environment. Very hard. My personal favorite, the Starfield screensaver. Very hard demonstration to pull up in a fully lit environment. Showing off the gun metals, incredible capability to pull contrast in a fully lit environment. TCL 4K demonstrations. Getting that from YouTube. As you can see, the screen produces a nice, bright image, even though the screen is very dark.
with that one. Turn the zoom up. Straighten my projector out a little bit more there. Other than that, just to show you, we have light coming in. It's contacting with the screen. Demonstrations. Getting that for you. Light penetrating the screen here. I'll back up and I'll show you how much light is entering the environment. This is how much light that's coming in. It's making contact with the screen right now. This is why you want true ambient light rejection screen paint. Something that's not going to have you turning your living room into a cave. calibrating your projector. This is not even a 1080p, no 4K. You can start with the basics and still produce an amazing image. questions about different forms of projectors um, please keep in mind we do not support knockoff projectors uh, the valve projectors we do not support 
Um, another projector, I think it's called Xumi, I don't forget the name of it, but we do not support those either. Uh, please go to our website, you'll be able to see the projectors that we do support. There's a list of them there found on every shopping cart. If your projector's not found in that list, we do not support it. Let's grab LG Betafish. Getting that for YouTube. Let's see, we have light here making contact with our screen here. We'll do the LG Betafish. I like doing this demonstration because the entire background must remain black at all times. See, we have sunlight coming in on this side. See how the screen is maintained in a nice deep blue from corner to corner to corner. what you want. You don't want to be trapped in the dark. You don't want a screen that's going to wash out. You don't have to spend the money for expensive and overpriced projectors. You want something that's going to be at work in a fully lit environment. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. I'd like to thank you all for taking the time to come in and watch. This is our advanced ambient light projection gunmetal Nova 17. Available on our website with free worldwide shipping. Thank you all for your time. I have to go and God bless.